Have you guys ever had as much fun playing a video game with a bolt action rifle as I have in this map? I mean, <laughs> the question's kind of rhetorical because you don't know yet, but I, I'm having an absolute blast with these custom weapons. Now, this is the the Everata mod pack by some pretty talented people in the Ravenfield modding community. But let's get into the action here. I'm basically gonna start here in the bottom middle and we're gonna have to storm this palace. Oh my God, there's even a garden maze and like, it looks like, I don't know, this is where they put the shrubberies, right? So, hello boys, welcome to the revolution. Uh, we, we got here the little outskirts of the city. We got some old trams. We got this beautiful fortress with ramparts, and you know I love myself a good siege. It's probably one of the coolest, like, scopes, I think, for, like, these style, you know, first person or third person style shooting games. Which, what if I told you I'm working on a first or third person style shooting game right now? How many of you guys would be interested in that? If you do, let me know in the comments right now, pull the trigger and like button. I'm serious, guys, things are gonna get really exciting these next coming months. Anyway! It's time to bolt action rifle some people. Now, there's two ways of using your bolt action rifle. One is to look down the iron sights. Hello, Ivan. Actually, I think there's a dude up there, so let's. Hey, VO, you're not supposed to be up there. The other is to just run haphazardly at the enemy and be like, hello. How are you? <laughs> Bum rush the positions. Uh oh. Dragast! And to just keep pushing it. So. As you can see here, they've got a little machine gun overlooking it, and obviously it's gonna take the bravest and smartest of them all. <laughs> they have machine guns over there! In testing this, <laughs> this is like, are you sure? No, I swear, guys. Basically what happened was, in practicing this, oh god, I missed. Duck, pop up, bam! Oh, come on. All right, we're switching to semi-auto pistol. And I'm gonna bum rush a dude with a machine gun? Why do I do these things? Ha! Got him. All part of the plan. Hey, bud. Septic? Is that like for Jack Septic? The eye of his is so septic. It's like, why is Jack's eye so weird? And why is his name not really Jack? All right, we're gonna have to... Needless to say, you run out of 10 bullets pretty quickly in this magazine, but I do like it. Watch the reload animation here. This is what I love about the modern community is like, they're so talented, man. And I'm, I tell you what, you guys might be thinking, hey Baron, can, can you make a Raven field and make it multiplayer? And I'm glad you asked and uh, maybe, but not today. I also have a saber because what better way to attack the enemy who's got guns than bring a sword to a gunfight. Oh my God, look at that. See, I distracted him and now my boys with the big old toppy hats. Just decided to rush in there. Okay, you know what? We clearly need maybe a carbine or a light machine gun. Rifle balance instance. I guess that's so like there's more AI use the rifles, which is pretty cool. We're going to use the light machine gun. And I don't really want to get lost in that maze over there. I want to push the little, uh, what do they call that? Greenhouses. The houses that's a green. Gentlemen, give me covering fire. Looks like you guys did all the heavy lifting already. I've arrived just in time for tea and crumpets. I think. Actually, this guy's dying. Ooh, ammunition. Oh, you can get up here and start sniping now. If this was a Battlefield-like game, you would get some bonus points for um, spawning in there and basically capturing it. All right, let's see if I can't... Oh, my God. First off, this sounds amazing. And it's got... Look at that, boy. We just cleared that top. And look at the flag. I, I forget what these guys are called. The Imperial Central Council. Can I fall through there? Can I? Hey, stop it, guy. Oh, I'm actually stuck. I'm kind of stuck, guys. I don't, I can't jump. Maybe if I do this over and over. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to respawn or I'm just gonna have to draw some attention and die. Now the enemy police forces, the Royal Guard have dug it what looks like a trench system over there. Wait a minute. Are those windmills in the background? Are we in Russia or are we in the Netherlands? Cover and fire. All right, I'm gonna have to respawn here. And you know what? Let's give the carbine a good look. Oh yeah, and look at this. Okay, so they've dug this trench system, but it looks like we can move up the side. Very poor planning by the Royal Guard as that guy just falls off the little promontory there. Okay, I'm gonna do that thing where like I run up the middle. And I'm gonna get shot, and then I'm gonna question, like, how did that happen? Why am I hurting like that? Alright, so there's no one on the machine gun. What I like about this is there's no heavy... There's no, um, what would you call it? Heavy, like, ordnance. No bazookas. There's no frag grenades, even. It's just all basic ballistics. 
You come in semi-automatic and automatic varietals. Oh my god, I'm literally getting lost in a hedge maze. Look at this guy sniping from over here. You do it? Are you winning, son? Alright, where's the way out? Here we go. I think it's over here. I guess the AI would immediately know where the pathfinding situation is, right? Like, you know, they'd have to answer that mathematical formula. Like, what, what's the fastest route to get to the objective point that I have? All right, we're, we're not doing too hot right now. Carving's cool. Let's go back to the LMG, and uh, unfortunately, there's just the one pistol right now. We're gonna spawn over at the greenhouse because that's gonna be an easier way into the trench than running through a hedge maze. And that's just facts. But look at these guys, man. So that guy's got the carbine, and this guy's got the rifle. Both of which have, uh, multiple ammunition, you know, like, magazines. As opposed to, like, maybe a classic Russian Mosin-Nagant, where you have, like, five rounds, and at least according to Escape from Tarkov, some of those magazines aren't reusable, for whatever reason. Man, my guys are not doing good right here. They're getting stuck. What's the situation, boys? Oh, they got- they got guards? That's okay. I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's do a little quick reload. Hey, stop looking at me. <laughs> Look at that guy peeking over trying to shoot us. Hey. There you go. Oh. Let's reload. We need a trench sweep and shotgun. Guess we could hold the line until we get reinforcements for a little bit. Because these guys are just pouring out of here. Oh! This guy's got an LMG too. I love the physics because I'm literally pushing a body away from me with bullets. <laughs> Ooh, I, he I heard heavy machine gun. They need to work on the emplacements too, but I'd say this is pretty good. I want like a big magazine. Now it's 35 round. This kind of like reminds me of the... Uh oh god. Wait, am I alive? I'm alive! I'm stuck in the map, but I'm alive. And here's my reinforcements. This is what we've been waiting for. If I had a grenade, I'd push it. <laughs> oh! I led the charge, comrades! For my great patriotic duty to overthrow the people who told me to be greatly patriotic. Hurry up, keep pushing it. But needless to say, we're just getting to... Oh man, look at that. We're starting to get really intense. Pushing past this door is probably gonna be very difficult. Ow! Medic! Dude, imagine if you could like have a little scroll wheel and you could be like, you know what? Call medic. And then an AI medic would run towards you and be like, hey boss! You're the human player, and I'm just the AI, and I'm here to support you. Victory! Not yet, boys. Not yet. Although I technically, since this battle, we just overwhelmed the entirety of the guard, right? Now, I wonder what it'd be like defending it. I love how these guys are, like, using couches right now as barricades. Now, they've got, what, two dudes left, I think? These must be the last guys. <laughs> Sorry, Rye guy, but I love the ragdoll physics. Man, your leg looks broke. We'll take this. I hear the heavy machine gun. They're still up there. Now, what we're going to be doing right after this is we're going to be playing as the defenders. All right, boys. Uh, I guess I want my uh, battlefield style ca uh, flag capture. And I want to run up here because I heard that machine gun barking. I can only assume that there's a defender here. Whoa. It takes a while to get up here. Yeah, so this is what it looks like from up here, man. Oh my gosh. You have just such this, a beautiful vantage point. Now, this thing needs to have like... The gun, the LMG in my hand, but maybe like three to four X. Oh, oh this is awesome. What? Long live the glorious new revolution. Now, if anyone could go back and translate all that and put it down in the comments, everybody like that comment so that we can all understand the greatness of this revolution. Now let's defend the palace. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because in the- on the workshop page, it said to give a little bit of an advantage to the blue guys. And so we have. And we have a 10 second respawn time. So these are things you gotta keep in mind. Alright, so I think the first thing we gotta do is just spawn up there to give cover- Actually, you know what? No. We're gonna be in the trenches. No. No, 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 no. 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 No indecision here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I don't know what the guy's saying. Oh my gosh, this is just unfair. Oh, we've overheated. Somebody pee on it! Did you see Band of Brothers? Was that Band of Brothers? The Pacific that they had to do that? I forget. I mean, probably not Band of Brothers European theater, because they were like, you know, in the heart of Europe during the winter. It sure seemed like lots of snow maps. Well, if you guys want to know what it's like to be like a D-Day machine gun defender, dude. All right, I've got to know. I'm at 64 kills. I'm at 64 kills. 11 years later. Now, I've already blown through one full army. <laughs> and I don't think we've lost a soldier. Oh, man. We're going to lose some guys now. Actually, no, we've lost uh, seven guys. But they've lost 140 something. Oh, my gosh. This is unfair. 
Never let a player get up on this machine gun. Now, in real life, there'd probably be another player, and he'd be like, you know what, give me my, give me my sniper rifle, comrade. Then he would get out there, might get up on those ramparts there. Oh my god, I shot myself. Alternate reality me versus this reality me. Luckily, I'm this reality me, because I'm me. But if I'm me, and he's me... I have no idea where I'm going with this little monologue. Wow. I mean, are you kidding me? Every bullet is a kill, almost. Oh my gosh. This is- I'm against the Geneva Convention! There's gonna be a clause like, Baron is not allowed in heavy machine guns and royal palaces overlooking very concentrated approaches with multiple soldiers. This is illegal, and it's against the Geneva Convention. He will never be able to buy Swiss cheese, Swiss chocolate, or go skiing in the Swiss Alps ever again. And that would be pretty sad, honestly. I don't think I'd like that. The enemy has slow. <laughs> I did it all by myself! How you like me now? Guys, this is super easy to defend the palace. Hold on. Ah! Look at my shadow. Watch out, kneecaps. Oh, poop some strawberry jam. No big issue. It's just 32 uh, hit points. Now that now the <laughs> I have literally just saved an empire from being revolted against, at least at this stage. Now, I, I want to see, like, we lost 14 guys. They lost 300. And I killed 209, 219 of them? Oh my god. That is something else. Right there. Hello, Tavares. Don't mind me. I'm just the hero of the empire. Dude, do you know how many- I'm gonna be able to marry the princess, I'm gonna eat like- They're gonna give me cheeseburgers morning, noon, and night for the rest of my life. Tell you what, sometimes all you need is just go out there and give it 110%. Hello, revolutionaries. Look at all this. This is- this is bad times for them. Anyway guys, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Just don't play it if I'm up there in a machine gun and you're down here. Granted, you would've sniped me, or would you have? I may have shocked. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.